It's looking so chill right now. I'm so happy. Also, I got new plants right there. Grocery haul. I got so many groceries. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not realize I ordered so many peppers. <gasps> Bananas. Choy. Two broccolis. Hummus. A punnet of strawberries. Tofu. Celery. Chicken. Salmon. Woo! Since I'm not back for very long, I was like, okay, we should probably try and eat healthy since we're going away really soon. So I am going to make some healthy dinners. I'm doing stir fry and then we have salmon and rice this week. I'm risking my outfit. I probably shouldn't wear white, but I don't have an apron. I do need to get one. But also I'm always like, do, do I need one? I don't know. I probably should get one though. Clint's sister brought back these noodles from Singapore for us. Apparently they're really popular. I think these are Chinese noodles though. I wanna try it. It's got like, it's got mala in it. It's got a really good kick of spice. I cut all the veggies and then I dump it into the sink where there's water to wash everything. You guys might remember that I started growing a vegetable patch outside and I've actually made a lot of progress with it. I've also had some fails, but I'm gonna go outside and show you guys what I've kind of managed to do. So I'm currently growing tomatoes, some greens, so like lettuce, kale, let me think, what else is there? Um, Oh, jokes, that's about it. And also some spring onion. These leaves are actually growing really well because they were all dead when I left the country and now they are blossoming and growing really big. So I think they revived themselves, which is nice. That's like crazy, it's like the size of my hand now. I have some spring onions here, but they are, some of them are doing okay and some of them are drying up because I think it's been super hot and then my flowers are dying a little bit, but we won't look at that. just showered and I'm getting ready for an event tonight um it's actually in like five hours but I'm just gonna get ready now because I know I'm not gonna get ready in time later and I gotta get some stuff done as well using this cream I normally never go to these kinds of events because like I have gone to a few this year but for the past few years I haven't been going I recently overplucked my eyebrows like last year and I've been waiting for them to grow back. I also cut my hair last year. I, there are so many regrets with my hair last year that I just <laughs> wish I didn't touch. But everything's grown back now and what I've learned is just don't pluck your hair, don't cut your hair, just go to the hairdressers. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes by Cleo. Tonight's like somewhat of a smoky eye but I don't want to make it too smoky. I'm gonna use my La Mercier one. It's like this burgundy color. This is my favorite palette for contour. It's the Floraces palette. And I really wanna work with them again because they have such good products. Nose contour is really important. I'd say I have a naturally more like round nose. Um, and I like to make it just a bit more button because my mom has a really button nose and my nose does not look like hers at all. Normally I don't, normally I don't really like to go to events to be honest. Obviously some really amazing events with some really amazing people and then other times I feel like it's very like snarky, elite, popular girl type of vibe where everyone's just kind of clustered into their own groups and like nobody wants to be a friend. I don't know, it just gives me like high school mean girl kind of vibes sometimes which is why I don't really like to go to events. I think I'm more like 
quiet and reserved and so sometimes I find it difficult. I pushed myself really hard a few years ago just to, like get out there I'd go by myself which was like the scariest thing and then nowadays I don't go as much because I realize I just rather focus on like my work and <laughs> making content but it's definitely like a privilege to go to these events like I feel so blessed every time I get invited and I still can't believe like I'm invited today like even though it's been years of me doing YouTube and stuff it's like I get so shook I'm like what <laughs> like i just i don't know some people just think they're so important at these events and i'm like chill like chill out Ugh. i have a friend who's going today so i'm really happy <sighs> yeah otherwise honestly i probably would have just like not gone actually jokes i was gonna go anyways because i was gonna push myself out of my comfort zone that's how you get over like your fears you have to be just push yourself i'm actually really excited for tonight's event though i have a friend going there's gonna be some cool people and i'm gonna talk to people and it's gonna be great and i'm not gonna be anxious or nervous because it's fine it's chill it's literally a dinner and then for my face i'm gonna do blush can you tell i really like this palette i've literally used it to death i'm gonna finish my eyeliner and come back <laughs> i'm gonna straighten my hair i managed to get a plus one for clint so he's gonna come with me <laughs> my support network I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. I love overlining my lips because. Well, sorry, I'm gonna put a bit of glitter on my eyes. I'm about to leave. We've got my outfit. I feel so snatched in this, and we got like a little slit. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. I It's really nice. Yeah. Do you guys want to wave for my vlog? Yeah. Chloe, wave for the. my sister's room right now and we're about to set up this table and this chair and we've got all the stuff here let me show you guys this is part of the table this is part of the table this is also part of the table oh wait i'm confused where's the chair it's, it's one of the boxes. oh wait really That's the chair. oh damn okay well That's we're gonna be building all of this We've set up everything and Bella's downstairs throwing the trash out while I sit here and I'm gonna tell you guys a bit more about Flexi Spot. We've set up two things today, the E7 dual motor standing desk and also the ergonomic chair. Starting off with the table, so this is the Flexi Spot E7 dual motor electric standing desk. So this table has a practical screen touch keypad with a built-in charger and an embedded USB charging port which makes it so much easier to charge devices. We have a phone charger plugged in, it's charging directly from the table. There's custom height pre Presets. So what we've done is we have a preset for sitting and we also have a preset for standing. There's child lock. So with the touch of a button, your desk is in place. Um, kids, pets, anyone who's trying to mess with your table, they can't move it around at all until you unlock it. It's super easy to control though, as long as you know the functions. So you just hold it down for a couple seconds. There are multiple desktop color options available. So the one that we have right now is the bamboo desktop and we have gray legs, except they have so many tabletop options, leg options. You can definitely find out more colors and options on their website. There's a three-stage lift system. So when comparing it to a two-stage lift system, the three-stage standing desk offers significantly broader range of lifting 
space with a 30% wider span, so ranging from 58 centimeters to 123 centimeters. You can easily adjust the height of the table so that it fits your needs. So onto the chair. So this is the Flexi Spot Ergonomic Chair. There's an arc-shaped motion, so it coordinates with changes in the vertical and horizontal directions, which allows you to receive all-around support regardless of your sitting posture. So you're sitting like slouching, upright, all the way back. You're going to be supported. You can adjust the seat height and the seat depth so you can go up and down. I use an ergonomic chair. I think it's like the most amazing thing. So I'm really excited for her to be using it now and for me to be able to use it when I come over and do my work as well because I want to be comfortable, you know? This is everything that you guys need to know about FlexiSpot. Their Black Friday sales are underway. It's a really good time to look into the E7 standing desk. Also the ergonomic chairs. There's so many colorways. They're customizable and there's so many different options. I have a link in the description for you guys. I also have a custom code on the screen so you can use this to get $30 off of your order. So this code is going to be valid for the E7 standing desk and also the ergonomic chair and this also includes the upgraded E7 Pro. Just a quick reminder there is a 30 day return policy and 15 year warranty so you can try it with confidence and you can return it if you don't like it but you will like it. Bella's back! <laughs> yes! How do you feel? I'm actually so excited like <laughs> my table before this was like ripping apart. It was <laughs> really really bad not gonna lie when i'm studying i'm kind of just like hunching over the whole time but this is so much better because i can adjust it yeah and also the chair is so good it's comfy my, right my other chair was kind of like also high key broken no <laughs> so, i feel like because like everything was i was saying how we gave you like hand-me-downs <laughs> for like the longest time <laughs> how do you feel using this versus like a regular office chair like you know the one before that was like falling apart yeah it was really hard my other one every time i'd sit on it i'd mm. like i'd stand up and there'd be marks on my legs because it's just like oh, no. a really hard material yeah but this is really soft and squishy literally what's my review better better <laughs> <laughs> main differences for me is that so much more back support and also comfort yay okay yeah. we're gonna be doing our work together on here now mm -hmm. we'll be like Duh. thank you to flexi spot and we'll see you at dinner I'm putting in a new bed today. I feel like I accidentally manifested this because I had it on my wish list for a while. And then the exact same company that I was gonna buy the marshmallow bed frame from emailed me and was like, would you like one? And I was like, yes, yes, I would like one. And this is the before. <laughs> Can't get down now. Hey. We're setting up the new bed. Got to wipe down the walls because they're looking a bit musty. <laughs> yeah, like, look at it. Okay. No. Wait, how do you do that? Huh? Just, I kept squirting it and then it fell off. What? I don't know. It's going to go up against this wall, so I might as well wipe it. Yeah, that's true. It's basically going to fill this entire space right here and it has these like edges, so it looks like one big marshmallow. Mm -hmm. I am so extremely happy about this bed frame. I feel like this kind of puts the room together. I almost got a beige like bed color, but instead I got the white and I am so happy I got the white. I feel like it just matches like a tiny, tiny bit better. I feel like I'm on this like apartment makeover journey because we changed the bedside tables as you guys saw. And then the next thing we changed was also these lamps right here, which I got from Kmart. And then we also have this, which is my new vanity table so satisfying i'm just so happy right now i wanted to put this room together for a little while but it took me a bit but i like how everything turned out and you guys live such a good life huh i just want to give you guys a few life updates while i'm at it so basically i came back from the wedding in bali and if you don't know who it's for because i didn't really mention who it was for i just kept mentioning that i was going to a wedding in bali um but it was for our cousin and technically clint's cousin but his cousins are my cousins at this point so um and that was so much fun the bali vlog is gonna be amazing like 
it's gonna be so good it's so fun i did so much stuff and i think i really just like enjoyed the trip and filmed really raw moments this time around which i'm really happy about um and i haven't done that in a while so i'm look forward to that i've gotten some new furniture as you can see like this vanity table right here and the table outside and um new bedside tables the bed like i feel like i've been just on like a redo journey with like my like space here and i realized like i really wanted to get pieces that kind of complemented everything just a little bit more um because i just wasn't feeling totally at home and now i feel like very comfortable and this is part of like my whole self-care era like i feel like it's important to focus on your self-care because when you don't focus on like let's say the space around you and your routine i mean like working out skincare makeup routine like you're not gonna feel good about yourself and that was me for a very long time i did not prioritize myself at all like i was always lost sometimes i wouldn't even shower some days because i was like why do i even need a shower that's such a waste of time and then now i'm like oh my god i like i have to shower <laughs> like that's so gross i think prioritizing yourself is really important and that's something i think i really learned this year when i first started my fitness journey i think i mentioned a few times it was extremely hard for me and the reason why i started in the first place was well a i had a wedding to go to which i just felt very out of shape and i was like you know i want to feel in shape when i go like i'm gonna feel really bad because previous years when i've tried to like really get into working out again like i haven't and i just keep feeling bad about it yeah like i just you gotta do something about it you know and i did and then i also knew like mentally for me it would like help me so much and it really did like it still is so i'm definitely continuing the gym even now i still need a bit of time to get back into it since i've been back but i feel like it's helped me think a bit clearer that was something that was like wow like i didn't know i could think better if i exercise which is like strange because i don't know like for me i didn't realize that was something i could feel and i think it's because for a very long time i wasn't training like super hard but for the past like three like plus months i was training really hard wow it's just it's been so good for me and i recommend you guys get onto it too i think i mentioned a few times like oh i could do a video on like how i got into the gym and like my results and things um i'm still on my gym journey so i'm not like an expert or anything but i definitely do like feel i have a really good sense of like my routine and what makes me feel good also like i have a lot of motivation now i don't know can you tell that i'm happier guys <laughs> This is your sign to look after yourself because when you don't look after yourself, literally like everything around you will collapse. As long as you are okay, everything will be fine. Like I feel less distressed these days because I'm just, I'm taking care of myself. I'm gonna start preparing some dinner. I'm gonna add some gochujang paste. I literally just use like a ginormous spoonful. I already have kimchi, pork belly, and some beef left over. Every time I make soup, I always think about the fact that one day when I have kids, I'm like, I'm gonna accidentally, not accidentally, I'm gonna purposely make this soup because I like it. I drink soybean stew and I also like kimchi stew. And I like Chinese stews and things, but like more recently I've been really into these korean stews and my kids are gonna be hella confused because they're gonna be like is this chinese food mom i used to not put things away straight away and then quinn's like super tidy insanely tidy he has ocd and i've said that a few times before but he guys he's actually diagnosed with ocd but yeah um and so it encourages me to be more neat and tidy so now i put everything away after i use it which is crazy you can't be like that Every time I cook dinner, Nubs always comes and grabs my ass with both of her paws. And I'm like, I know you want dinner. It's time to get unready. Came out of the shower and I'm gonna put this product. This is one of my favorite hair products right now by The Ordinary. It's this like hydrating serum and I just put it all in my roots. And then I like to take this product right here. This one's from Cheeky Glow. Massage everything into my head. 
I used to not be a huge hair care girl or anything crazy like that, but now I found out my head was balding because I was stressed for the past few months. That was literally crazy. I just like look back and I'm like, I realized how stressed I was and emotionally off and literally that's why I was balding. This one has a halter and it's backless like this. So nice. I think I'm gonna get it. Hey babies. Oh, I did some damage. It was all for a good cause. <laughs> Nori sitting next to you guys right now. I did a little bit of shopping because I just was looking for basics and then I found a few other cute things. First place I went with Glassons white tops that look like this and these are really great for the gym actually and like working out because it has like a little insert in the inside. Got a black one as well. I got this top. I got some jeans because my jeans right now have stretched a lot and it's really um, unflattering. <laughs> so I got some new ones. And they have these little buttons which you can tighten the back. And this is actually a game changer. Kukai. Three things from there. First one is this black dress. I don't really know how to show you guys this, but it's really, really flattering on. So it's like a halter neck. This set. Button down vest. And it's so flattering on. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Mitz. Mitz, no. Oh, no. Okay, Mitz got stuck in the bag. I got this pair of white pants to match it. I was going to get a pair of pants somewhere else, but the fabric doesn't match. Oh, my God. Look at Mitz. Mitz, come on. Mitz, you literally did that to yourself. I'm gonna go do some laundry, start packing, and then, yeah, I'm gonna be ready to go to Singapore. If you're wondering what I'm doing in Singapore, I'm there to go see some family. I was also gonna go meet with an agency, and then at the same time, I was like, oh, I may as well set up a few other meetings while I'm there. So yeah, it's like a really happy coincidence. I have a friend who's there as well right now, seeing her parents, so. <laughs> So excited to see her as well and just like I feel so blessed and grateful right now I just am like in a very like peaceful mindset if that makes sense like I feel very Like in the middle of the year I was so uptight because there was so much shit that was just going down in my life like